today, everybody travels to the United States to learn, to do some business, whatever other reasons. Dinner at Yuval's had me sitting around with some of the top entrepreneurs in Israel, and I had a fantastic time. Do we love U.S. culture yeah, here? Sure. We live American culture over here. Why do you think that is? America is the big empire all over the world, yeah. and we try to copy everything. The first time I moved to the U.S., I came across as disrespectful. It takes a, a mind shift to, to adjust, because I thought if my boss's boss makes a mistake, I, I should point it out. <laughs> no, you don't do that in the U.S. <laughs> so many great things that happened over dinner at Yuval's. Yuval is a magical storyteller. Take a look at this one. My first trip to the United States was 1962. At that time, Israel was really a poor country. There was no great food, there was no money, there was no industry. And for me to go to the United States was a kind of dream that I would never be able to fulfill. I never thought I'd be able to find it. So here I land in Idlewine. You know, the old Kennedy Airport. The old Kennedy Airport. And here I land in New York. I said, no, I want to see the Empire State Building. Right. Well, no problem. Here we go to the Empire State Building. So I went up the elevator to the observation deck, look right and left. And I went downstairs, I bought a postcard of the Empire State Building. I sent the postcard to my parents and I wrote in this postcard, the Empire State Building exists as we heard in the stories. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and then I heard that in New York there's great steaks. You know, in Israel at that time, meat was so rare. We didn't eat meat. We ate chicken, we ate who knows, other, other things, but no meat, no real meat. So here we go to a steak restaurant in the village, and we sit, and the waiter come and say, what do you like to have? And I say, I want a steak, and she explained to me the different cuts of meat, okay, whatever, I didn't know anything about it. And then the waiter turned to me and said, how do you like the steak to be? So I look and say, what's the question? I want it very good. 